We have talked a lot about sickle cell disease, but now let's have a comparison between sickle cell anemia and sickle cell trait. It will be very straightforward. Okay, sickle cell anemia is hemoglobin SS in the genotype, which is a homozygous, while sickle cell trait is hemoglobin AS, which is a heterozygous. This is the carrier state because sickle cell disease is inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. Okay, now you have hemoglobin. Let's say it's 100% but you have different types of hemoglobin. So in sickle cell anemia, you have 90% hemoglobin S, 8% hemoglobin F, 2% of hemoglobin A2, and virtually no hemoglobin A. No normal hemoglobin. Wow, that's something. Sickle cell trait, on the other hand, has 55% hemoglobin A, 43% hemoglobin S, and 2% of hemoglobin A2. Pay attention. To sickle or not to sickle, this is the question. What are the causes of sickling? Number one was hemoglobin S concentration of more than 60%. So sickle cell anemia, of course, will sickle. Sickle cell trait will not sickle under normal circumstances. It can only sickle under severe conditions such as hypertonicity and hypoxia in the renal medulla. Symptoms in sickle cell anemia, we have hemolysis, we have vaso-occlusive crises, which included dactylitis, acute chest syndrome, otosplenectomy, etc. In sickle cell trait, we have only hyposthenuria, which is an inability to concentrate urine, as well as microscopic hematuria. Please note that in sickle cell trait, you can have renal papillary necrosis. Okay, now in the lab, let's do a blood fill or a peripheral smear and look at the cells. In sickle cell anemia, you will have sickle cells, target cells, as well as whole jolly bodies. Whole jolly bodies are basophilic remnants in the red blood cells. Why is that? Because in sickle cell anemia, you have functional asplenia. Your spleen is useless. So, you cannot remove these basophilic nuclear remnants. In sickle cell trade, there are no sickle cells for the most part, no target cells, and no whole jolly bodies because the spleen is still functioning. Here in sickle cell anemia, folic acid, antibiotics, and vaccinations are needed, maybe even transfusion or exchange transfusion in severe cases. Here, do nothing because sickle cell trait is completely benign. That's it for the comparison. If you know any more differences between sickle cell anemia and sickle cell trait, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you next. Be safe, study hard.